U.S. Supreme Court Justice Scalia had a secret Texas meeting with Obama just hours before his death. A stunning report prepared for the Office of the President by the Foreign Intelligence Service examining the letter sent to President Putin by American billionaire Donald Trump last week that appeared to predict an activity concerning U.S. Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia suggests that just hours before this esteemed jurist's death, he had held a secret meeting with President Barack Obama aboard a U.S. Air Force plane headed to a secluded Texas ranch owned by a close personal friend and top campaign donor of America's leader, Obama. According to the report, the SVR assets reported that on February 11th, both President Obama and Justice Scalia were at Joint Base Andrews, scheduled for two separate U.S. Air Force flights from Andrews Field, the first taking President Obama to Los Angeles, the second taking Justice Scalia to Marfa Municipal Airport, located in the southwestern region of Texas, near the Mexican border. While President Obama was scheduled to depart on one of the U.S. Air Force's two Boeing's VC-25 aircraft, commonly referred to as Air Force One, Justice Scalia's flight was scheduled aboard a Gulfstream C-37A, which is the U.S. Air Force's designation for their fleet of the popular Gulfstream V private jet aircraft. And just prior to these two Air Force aircraft departing from Andrews Field, the SVR assets assigned to monitoring top American political and military figures noted a discrepancy from normal protocol. When Justice Scalia's three U.S. Marshals, Marshal Services Judicial Secretary Division, Security Division, Protectors or Defenders, left the air base and with personal protection, with the personal protection of the noted jurist, Judge Scalia, just being transferred to the U.S. Secret Service. Upon both President Obama's and Justice Scalia's different flights departing from Andrews Field, an even greater discrepancy from normal protocol was noted when they were informed by aerospace forces, satellite monitoring personnel that U.S. Air Force F-16 fighter aircraft from three different bases, Shaw Air Force Base, Montgomery Field and Luke Air Force Base, accompanied the entire flights of both the Boeing VC-25 and the Gulfstream C-37A a level of protection normally only offered to the President exclusively. As to why the U.S. Air Force provided F-16 fighter aircraft protection to Justice Scalia's flight became even more concerning when after the flight landed in Marfa, Texas, this extreme protective air cover was maintained until the Gulf Stream departed three hours later and flew to Los Angeles Air Force Base, accompanied by its fighter plane escort and where at the same exact time, the American press covering President Obama began questioning where Obama was, only to be told that President Obama had been missing due to a late night off the books dinner with three Hollywood elites the White House wouldn't further comment on. The report also strongly suggests that President Obama had in fact been aboard the Gulf Stream with Justice Scalia from Andrews Field to Marfa and then further traveled from Texas to Los Angeles on it, which they say is the only conclusion to be reached due to the U.S. Air Force's continuous protection of it. In support of this conclusion, the Air Force radar and electronic spectrum satellite analysis of MARFA, where the Gulf Stream landed with Justice Scalia and maybe President Obama, shows a four-vehicle convoy leaving MARFA Airport traveling to a 30,000-acre estate called the Cibolo Creek Ranch. It's critical to note that this Cibolo Creek Ranch is that it's owned by Texas multimillionaire John, John Poindexter, who aside from being the owner of the vast conglomerate J.B. Poindexter and Company, Inc., is a longtime personal friend of President Obama, who in one of his first duties upon elected, being elected, bestowed a war medal upon Poindexter for his service during the Vietnam War. 
and of greater concern about Obama's personal friend, John Poindexter, is that within 36 hours of Justice Scalia's arriving at his Symbolic Creek Ranch estate, Poindexter is the man who made the announcement to the media that Judge Scalia had passed away. And when then coordinated with local Texas officials to have Justice Scalia declared dead via a phone conversation with the area medical examiner without an actual medical examination of the body, in clear violation of Texas law, which states an autopsy is to be performed when the body or body parts of a person is found and the cause or circumstances of death are unknown. So I'll leave a link below for you for this. Thank you.